Hallelujah. Glory to God in the name of Jesus Christ. I'm very dependent on the Lord for my safety. Okay. Uh, the 50-year-old openly gay black man with the Holy Spirit versus the local gang and drug dealers, 33. So they park there in the parking lot across from my bedroom window where they're not supposed to really be parking. That always intimidates me, just the fact that they don't really belong there. If you don't have a permit, you shouldn't be there. Being a friend of somebody who lives there who's in a gang or a higher up or a drug dealer, that doesn't count either. So um, they parked there. I've had to tell them off. They've, play, they've played disrespectful music. I cuss a lot, by the way. You will be hearing cussing before this ends. Okay, just warning. Just warning you. Uh, and I felt like the Holy Spirit led me to, instead of making a fuss and annoying them till they left, I just went to the restroom. I cleaned out my sink. It's very clean now. I meditated. And I said, well, let's see if there's just how long they want, they want to wait. The reason I didn't want to go out this time was because of the fancy car, which told me it might be a, a more higher up in the drug world. And these fucking people are like actors. They're treated like gods. So I thought, let's let him wait. The poor gay black man, 50-year-old, on SSI, is going to make your fucking either gang higher up or drug higher up ass, big wig ass, wait motherfuckers not to you my viewers please forgive me if i if I, I'm, I know i'm looking at you in the eyes but it's not directed at you please forgive me but it is that these drug dealers these gangbangers sometimes pimps and definitely occasionally sex workers uh think that you know you're gay you asshole why are you singing christian music when we're when i'm trying to turn tricks in the parking lot or have a gang beat in no, you're not going to criticize me. I have a relative who murdered someone, and he, he pulled that shit on me. You murdered someone. No, well, no, he told me, you're gay. Don't criticize me for murdering someone. I was like, wait a second, what the fuck? I was like, what? That's how these assholes are. So I make their lives miserable by living at my window. This is a rare break where I'm doing a recording in my restroom. It's a small unit. 200 square foot, tiny little restroom. Here's, here, here, literally, I can touch the walls. That's it, my tiny little restroom, the door, tiny little mirror, and I'm sitting back down. So if I have to get away, of course, to go poop, I can't be at my window. The rare times I bathe, and half the time I even brush and floss at the window. Just to observe what they're doing so that there's not the violence, even prostitution, as well as blatant drug use and meth use. There's folks who are homeless who do that and they do it in their tent or they'll drape something over them. They put a little bit of discretion, but there's others who don't. For the ones who don't, I'm a nightmare because I will speak to them through a toilet uh, paper towel roll like this and it amplifies the sound. It makes it sound like a bullhorn and I can direct the sound for a block or so. I can pinpoint people and God is good. So this is how I kind of make sure they don't behave like fucking animals out there. The worst parts of Skid Row, you'll have, well, worse than this, but you'll have, well, worse than what I've seen here, but it's been bad here. But you'll have more of it in certain parts of Skid Row. We don't want that here. So, um, uh, excuse me. I'm at my window all the time, so I burp at them because they're calling me faggot constantly in Spanish. Puto, jota. And they even have their children call me that because my presence in the window means a lot of their methamphetamine clients. They see me dancing or singing or even sitting there eating and they're like, why is that guy at his window? That's weird. And they'll, they'll leave. Others, if, I, if I'm lucky, I may sing a Christian song in Spanish or English to just the right person. And then the person actually will feel guilty and they'll walk away. I've done meth. I'm no angel. I've done, I've had sex. In exchange for meth um, a few times a good handful or so of times I mean I've never been like living off of meth and selling my body but I've done that I'm no better than these folks I prostituted you know maybe 18 times it was I mean it, I couldn't do it I just always wanted to rob the guys so I, I didn't it was disgusting to me 
So I ended up not doing it. I'm kind of a germaphobe. So anyway, I was younger and I wasn't as bad of a germaphobe. I'm more of a germaphobe now. But the Lord takes such good care of me. There's no need for me to ever even consider processing myself. I live off of SSI and I give most of my money after the rent goes to the third world. It goes to feeding children. So God's really purifying me of the love of money and of the idea that, oh, everything like m money, if I was rich, all of my problems would be solved, right? Money has all the answers. That means you love money if you feel that way. God said you can only love money and hate God or love God and hate money. Or God said you can cling to money and despise God, which is what most of the church does. They try to build the biggest, fanciest church as materialistic, fancy wardrobe for the choir and fancy, you know, pastors and all this shit. They're not helping the least of God's people. Jesus said, what you do unto the least of my people, you do unto me. And they're letting people be homeless. They're, but they're building nice churches. So even they're, they're really condemned. I hate to say it. So I'm doing everything to make sure, sure that my money goes into the pockets of people who are poor in the third world. It's challenging. The NGOs want to tell you how all the money is supposed to be spent. And I, I, I don't know. I don't know what to say. Um, so I'm still looking. Anyway, um, what am I going to say next? I need to upload this. Please keep checking in on me, making sure I'm alive since they've threatened to kill me. And keep wishing me your happy thoughts. I don't like advice. I appreciate it if you don't give me advice. Thanks. I'll, people, I'll try to be polite if you give me advice anyway because I know a lot of people will. I'll try to be polite, but I did ask you politely. Don't give me advice. Don't tell me to be safe. Don't tell me to, you're worried about me. Just pray for me and think happy thoughts and share these videos. Share my videos. Watch my videos. That's all. Nothing else. All right. Love you. I guess. I don't know. I just want to make sure somebody up there is like, hey, is this motherfucker still alive? Anyway, I'm worthless. It's only the Lord. Anything good about me is the Lord. Hallelujah. Glory to God in the name of Jesus Christ.